Hello, Denny, and welcome back to MTGA. Now, in the last episode, we got ourselves completely destroyed in four different matches. Uh, but I was using a brand new deck that I've been experimenting with, and obviously I haven't been infected yet. Which is my excuse. Uh, so now we're gonna go back to all reliable brightness and see if we can get at least a couple of wins today. Or at least one win today. I would love at least one win today. Alright, let's see what we got. Plus, since uh, brightness and w white and dark, um, plains and swamps, which is what I need to play for one of my daily quests. So let's see. Well, Jimmy, 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 Alright, I'm over here and start drawing some more cards. So, I'm not supposed to do that. I wonder why he got rid of expiring over here. It's not that powerful as far. The only reason to do that is that he doesn't like flying. It just seems like a waste to me. myself to not assume gender, but it's been ingrained in me for a very long time. Especially since my gender is ambiguous. No blocks. I'll take the hit. I'll be back next time. Assuming you don't destroy me. Yeah. I'll do so that you don't have another essence scanner. Thank you. 
really use my staple card. But I'll just help you. Of course, double, double strike. Head damage per turn. And then it means that I defend with Nita. Oh, okay, sure. Otherwise, Lisa would be destroyed. But next turn, I can put up Elspeth and get her first strike. Which means that I should go first and destroy it on the Point me towards the fight. Be brave. First strike. Good. 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 And I love it, but I don't want to love it, because it's, it pissed me off too much. Alright, so we do that. Let's put our the apocalypse. Circle attack. I know I'm a hero with you. So now I should be able to attack without any hesitation. One life, I will do it one life. Ah, uh, okay, so that's why they're getting boosted. Because of his effect. Someone's effect. So the account can answer our social star pitches and get called at plus one zero, then plus at the end of the turn. So he gets plus one plus one if it comes out of the bed. Go ahead, attack. See what happens. Double strike doesn't go first. If I have first strike, I get to go first. That's the whole point of first strike. Good game. Okay, so pretty much no matter what I do, I'm going to lose Elspeth, but I can at least we got one of you. Yeah. Not expecting that, were you? I'm trying to boost even further, huh? That would have been a good move. Okay, never mind. Try to make this mistake again before I double strike. Well, I just got screwed. Fall there. back! I'm sure I first strike went first, but that's okay. Well, at least got rid of one of his hardy gin. Oh, I can, I can play it. Yeah, I can make that happen. I can't with anything. Yeah. Oh. Oh, if one of my creatures died, I would win it. He's probably only going to attack with his flyers. But not as much, I get more than enough to keep him up. Or next turn, I should win. Even better. I'm not 
not overconfident. You're just you overwhelming. That is one victory in bad. Hmm, that was good. Shows you the difference between an experimental deck and a deck that I had tried and true for a very long time. Now, four losses to that experimental deck, but first time I used brightness and it's a win for me. Even if that win was a little bit of a struggle. It didn't feel like I was winning the entire time. But, there's a reason why it's all reliable, at least for now. And the next change-up, which is probably coming in January or February, I'll be forced to get rid of that entire deck, of this entire deck. That's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because suddenly I have to find a new, old, reliable. But it also means that you're forced to keep changing things up, keep trying new things. Uh, it keeps things from getting stale. Yeah, we'll keep seven. Alright, so By the way, I love this one because it's a reference to Phoenix Wright, which is an amazing game as well. I'll we'll probably wind up playing Phoenix Wright on the channel at some point. Without you. I'm not going to attack. I officially have enough to take you out if you attempt to attack me. Thanks for the free guy, by the way. This out next turn which means I can use Infernal Grass, but it also means that I can't move. Yeah, let's do that. I have nothing. Oh. Nope, thankfully I'm gonna bring it this turn. Good It could have been a lot worse, but it wasn't too bad. Right. Yeah, I'm just attacking you with the little guys. Once again, I found that if, you, if you're afraid to attack, there's a lot of reasons why you can probably attack. Just being able to get in a hit can sometimes be worth it. So, even if it's a tiny bit of hit. I take no joy in the oh, it's I bring my own. You out. You out. I really want to get rid of Soren. Soren the Merciless. So this is to be a vampire deck. My ways are not for the weak. I like werewolves, and I know werewolves are the result of vampires, but I really don't like vampires. Uh, they just... They're, I, I like to say they're, they're the Republican Party of the monster world, and, and they really don't deserve to be as... as uplifted as they are, in my opinion. Which is a crazy thing to say, because they don't exist. I will not spare. Of course you will. All right. He manages to transform Henrika, and I'll be in trouble. Not getting very good draws right now. If I had my staple card, this would be a whole different ball game. But right now, I'm kind of SOL. Nothing on Innistrad is free. Alright, come on. Give me what I need. Give me what I need, Deck. Let's turn this around. Oh, 
Oh, that's my dad. My dad hurt me. Love when that happens. Alright, voice of the blood. There we go. We'll attack. We call it. Actually, yeah, we'll attack you with that. Okay, so we are going to sacrifice one of your creatures. Which is unfortunate, but it's setting up to 5-5. Five five. We can also bring that creature back with Venom's mercenary, missionary. Which also gives me another point. So now I'm flying with 6 Vigilance. Heck yes, that was a good move right there. That was a good move. My ways All are right, not let's see if we can weak. get this done. Two, three, not three. So I think I can take out Fenwick's mercenaries if she evolves, or if they use both creatures against me. Voice of Bluff is my current defender, but I'll definitely Exactly terrible, but not exactly good. It just means that I won't be getting life if any of my creatures dies. Which was a mildly good so. And I'm planning to sacrifice for a chain mercenary anyway, because life links. Oh, a creature. Creature with sacrifice in my hand so we can bring it back. Of course, they're transforming it. The one thing I was hoping they wouldn't do. Oh no, they are. Okay, never mind. Let's put you out. You out. That's gonna get me. Oh, that's cool. So now, I wanna hit you as hard as I can with these two things. I wanna defend against either of those two creatures, we're gonna lose a creature. But I will gain another turn. One more crash. Oh, right. I'm one away from getting Voice of the Blood to be invincible. Which means that they will have no way of getting rid of it. And that will be... That's the whole reason why he's in this deck. Is that if I can get ten tokens on him... Or... I've pretty much won.